DNA test turns out I'm a hundred percent that bitch. Even when I'm crying, crying, I need to open the windows. I need to get some, some natural lighting, natural lighting, natural lighting the room. What's good, your boy Ezekiel, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about. So sorry about that. So sorry about that. It's been such a long time since I've actually done a video standing up, and I feel so much more energetic. Like, literally, every single one of my videos so far, they've all been reaction videos, and I've been sitting down, and my energy's been quite low. But I think I'm gonna go back to my standing position and, you know, be by the wall, because I actually miss this wall. I feel like they're cold. Anyway, so in today's video, I'm going it's really dark. I am going to be um, talking to you about five people that you, that's five, five people that you will meet inside a movie theater. Recently, just recently, me and my friend went to go and watch It too. It was a fantastic movie. So all the people that say that the movie was terrible, there's two scenarios. One, you went with really boring people. Or two, you just don't like good movies. But if you go to a movie with me and my friends, you're gonna enjoy it. It was a really good movie. It was quite scary. And our reactions were, well, what do you expect? So I'm gonna give you five people that, or five types of people that you would meet inside a movie theater. And um, I've, wrote, I've wrote myself a little script as well about what I should see because I have a lot of points I wanna make and I wanna talk to you about these people because they can get really annoying. Um, so yeah, that's it. Hi darling, if you're first and me on any social media platform, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give this video a like here, here and here, so y'all know what's good. And remember to follow me on my social media places. I've changed my Instagram name to it's Ezekiel A so people can find it easier. And uh, my Snapchat's here, my Twitter's here, and my TikTok, which I, pa I pass. I post two, um, I post once every two days, I guess. I should probably post one today anyway, so yeah. Anyway, without further ado, let's get straight into this video. First type of people you will meet on my list are the chatterboxes. <clears throat> now, me and my friends, we talk in movies. I'm not gonna lie to you, we talk, but we don't talk excessively. We say one thing, we laugh about that thing, because I'm very good at commentary. We laugh about that thing, and then we shut up. We don't speak constantly, but there are people that talk constantly, and it's like, it's like, did you come to the movie to watch the movie, or did you come to the movie just to talk, and like, did you just waste money? Because I'm here trying to watch the movie and then you're talking really loudly and then I get distracted by their conversation. Let's say they're talking about, I don't know, someone's boyfriend does this. And I'm going to be intrigued by that story and I'm going to listen to them and I'm going to watch the movie. So I'm just telling you guys, just shut up. Don't talk in movies because talking in movies gets really, really... I just realised something. I always look straight. I don't look into the camera. So I'm going to start looking into the camera now. But yeah, it's annoying. Don't keep them talking. And then they ask one question that always gets on my nerves, right? It's like... What did he just say? Or, oh my God, what just happened in the movie? If you were quiet, you wouldn't have to ask that question and you'd be doing everyone in that theater a favor. Like the quieter you are, the less you talk, the more people around you like you. And I don't know you. So you're already giving off a bad impression that you're a chatterbox. I don't talk a lot. Sometimes, maybe I do. But I don't talk excessively, especially in movies, because I can tell people to enjoy and there are people around me and I have to consider those other people. So don't be a chatterbox in a movie because it gets really, really annoying after some time and you just want to kick the person in the head. Number two on my list are what I call chomp heads. And basically, have you ever been to a movie, you're sitting down with your friend and the next thing you hear is... <laughs> <laughs> because I have on like several occasions and I'm just gonna say it was I can remember about four of them and one of them was when I went with my friend Michelle to go watch Venom I don't think she noticed this but I did there was someone behind us that was chomping really really loud it was getting on my nerves and to one point I even did this and I was lying on the head of the chair. I was like I can't I can't I hate the sound of people chewing like have you like when I sit at the dining table because everyone chews differently and I wish everyone wasn't like my sister. My sister, when she eats, you don't hear a thing. She's so silent. She's a silent chew and I don't know how she does it. But she's so, so quiet. And I'm just like, how do you do it? Because I hate it on the dining table when I'm eating. And then all of a sudden, I just stop to listen to my surroundings. And all I hear is... 
Like, it just gets so annoying after a while. So don't be a chump head in the movie. And then, and then, and then, and then, the thing is that a chump head, what they would do is that, apart from eating so much and chomping so loud, they will leave pieces of popcorn all over the floor. And I'm just like, I hate it when people are messy, especially in like business places. Like for example, when people leave their tray on the table at McDonald's, I get so pissed because I would hate, I, I wouldn't, I don't, I don't leave my stuff on the table. I clean it up because that's what, that's what a good person does. I'm not going to make someone's job harder by, you know, leaving everything all over the table. So I clean up my stuff when I go to any restaurant. When you leave pieces of popcorn and wrappers everywhere, it just makes you look trashy and it just makes you look like a tramp. So don't also like, oh my God, I can't even. Number three is what I call the sit stills. And the sit stills really, they do scare me because imagine this, right? You get into, like you're coming into a theater, you sit down and there's someone down your aisle that's already sitting there, but they're sitting still, like still, as in like, like frozen type of still, like Anna, when, Elsa froze her heart type of still like she froze like the person frozen and you're just sitting there wondering and oh my god I'm so sorry once again there's two scenarios that you could go around with this one that they're dead dead like there's no more life like the demental has sucked all the life out of the person that's dead dead or they're cold cold and they don't want to move like don't be a sit still because then it gets really scary and then I'm wondering what do I do do I get up and leave or do I get up and leave? Like, those are the two options for me. Honestly, I'm just, like, why? And then when they, like, let's say they're sitting like this, right? When they move, the first thing you do is jump because you're like, oh, you're alive? Number four on our list, that's eight. So number four on our list is what I wrote down here. I wrote the toilet breakers and basically a toilet breaker is as you can probably tell is someone who in a movie walks up in front of you and continuously goes to the toilet now i don't mind if you're going once you know if you're going once or twice in the movie i understand that especially if it's a three hour movie and you know you're drinking a lot of you know you have i don't know a big coke or a tango fruit blast or a slushy or whatever you brought in I don't mind you doing that, but it gets to a point where it just gets annoying and the person has gone to the toilet more times in that movie than I have gone to the toilet in 10 years of my life. I know you're probably thinking, do you not have regular bowel movements? I do. I go to the toilet at least three times a day to do that or I go at least, at least five times a day just to go and take a piss. So if you're going up and down, like I don't, if you have a medical problem, right? Bringing in a large coke isn't helping your case and also you can pick where you sit especially if there's not a lot of people in the movie Why would you go and sit inside the corner where you'll be inconveniencing a bunch of people walking up and down in front of them constantly Like just sit on the edge like the aisles and if you need to go you can just go to the toilet very quickly Like I have nothing against some people going to the toilet but if you just keep on doing it It just gets annoying after a while and it will get to a point where I will just leave my feet in the middle of the way And you can just find a way over like I'm not going to move my feet anymore because I will, oh, I just put on an eyelash. Oh, it hurts. Now, last but not least, I'm going to flip over the page because I wrote quite a lot for this specific person. So, um, this person is what I call a complainer. And I have met three complainers in movies in my entire life. Um, and what I wrote down here is that they expect me to be quiet. They expect everybody in the theatre to be quiet. They don't want to hear anybody speak. They want it to be dead silence. Even when something's funny, they don't want anyone to laugh. And I'm telling you, if, if if I'm with you and we're in a three hour movie and I haven't said anything in 10 minutes, I beg, call 999 or 112 because our pubs be dead. I cannot not talk. And if you're complaining about it and there's just something wrong with you, because I remember me and my friend, me and my friends actually, we, uh, we went on a school trip, went to go and watch, uh, I think we went to go and watch, I think it was Blood Brothers. And the people had mess, messed up the seats for our school. So our school was like spread around the theater. And unfortunately we got a seat next to an old man. I think his wife was there. And so the movie, the, the movie, the play had begun. And um, I said to my friend, oh, I can't really see from here. And this man sitting next to me has the audacity 
to turn to his left, look me in the eye and go, can you shut up? And you know, all my friends know I have a quick mouth. If you say one thing to me, I'm gonna say 50 times what you just said. I have a very, very quick mouth. So I did not say anything, I just ignored it, which is so hard for me. I just ignored it, just turned to my friend. Then as in, you know, the play went on, you know, started talking to my friend in the game. And he's like, would you ever shut up? And I'm just like, what is this man's problem? Like, what is like, what is your deal? What is your issue? What is your issue that, you, that you're cooking and it's not done? You only understand that reference if you're Nigerian. But seriously, what is your problem? What is your issue? And then I was like, so I looked him up and down and then I turned to my friend and I was like, why did this man come when he's on his menstrual cycle? Anyway, why is, why is he here? Like, you should just stay at home. Like, don't, don't be a complainer in a movie. If you complain, I will. Hamstring. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, I'm so out of breath. Please subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends, and like this video. Make sure to comment down below. Follow me on my social media places. Click all the links in the description below. And I'm also thinking, actually, no, I'll tell you guys later. Okay, bye.